Hi everyone! In this video I will show you how to relate um, the derivation of a function r of theta with the different formula that you know from your calculus class. Okay, we'll do different examples. Let's say we have a function r, we make it a bit bigger so we can see it well, r of theta equal 3 theta. And don't forget that theta is a function of the time. So for example, theta is theta of t equal 0 0.2 pi times t. What does that mean? That means that every second theta equal 0 0.2 pi. So in 10 seconds theta equal 2 pi. So it means that it do one revolution in 10 seconds. Okay, so just imagine it's rotating at uh, this speed. Uh, not that theta of t doesn't have to be a linear function, but this is an example. And we don't need that, but just to explain you what is happening with that theta. So if the function r of theta is 3 theta, the function r prime of theta, not r prime, let me just write that, dr dt, so this is the r dot equal dr dt, this is in the function of t, that will be simply be 3 theta dot, okay, because the function theta is alone. So if we derive theta, that will be just 1, but don't forget that theta is also a function, so the theta, um, now it's theta dot, okay, and if we look at r dot dot, that is dr dot dt, so we take the derivation again of this one, that will be also 3 theta dot dot. What is important there is like, don't remove the 3, because this is um, when you have a, like a, you have the, that number in front of a function, and not that number alone. Okay, so this is example number 1. Now example number 2, let's say we have r of theta equal cosine theta. This one is different because the theta is inside the cosine, cosinus function. So the r dot, that is dr dt, this is also dt, uh, dr d theta, dr d theta times d theta dt. This is, if you look there, this is this chain rule there. Let me highlight it there. Chain rule there. So we have a function. Here in, here in that formula, this is a function of u that you want to derive um, with x. So, let me show you. The df, df is our dr, the du is our d theta, and, and that's it. <laughs> okay, and the dx, no, and the dx is our dt. Okay, but this is the channel rule that you already know. So, what is happening there? the dr divided by d theta. So the derivation of cosine, I put it there, is sine. So we got minus sine theta, and the d theta dt, this is theta dot. Remember the dot means that you take the derivation of both t. So at the end, oops, r dot, we have r dot equal minus theta dot sine theta for that function. And now, if we want to find the r dot dot, okay, that's the derivation of dr divided by um, dt. And if you look at this one, this is what? This is a product. So we need to use this product rule there. Okay? So what do we have? Sorry, this one is quite smaller than this one. So this that will be equal to. So just imagine this is. Let me write the, exactly this. F is the function, let's say that's a function minus theta dot, and G is the function sine theta. Okay? F prime will be minus theta dot dot, and G prime, that's where it's difficult, it's not just theta dot, it's the theta dot cosine theta, because this one is also the chain rule, okay? So, they will be equal to, oops, 
here what we need to write is f prime g plus f g prime what is equal to let's look at this one f prime minus theta dot dot g sine theta plus f minus theta dot and g prime theta dot cosine theta so my function there let me go on some odd same function r dot dot equal what minus theta dot dot sine theta minus theta dot square cosine theta this is a combination of chain rule and product rules and don't forget every time you have the theta inside the function chain rule chain rule so that was example number uh, example number two so this is example number two just we did the r dot r dot and we did the r dot dot okay uh, let's do one more example because this is one that also I see uh, mistakes on this one. Let's say example three, the function r dot equal three. No, let's just make it very simple. Equal theta square. Okay. The big difference between the case number one and the case number two is that we have a square. So this theta is inside the function. So a sine of function, it means that we are with a chain rule, this one. Okay? Chain rule, we have a function square and we have a theta function. So r dot equal, and we can use, uh, there is, you can, we can write dr dt, that is equal dr d theta times d theta dt. Okay, so r dot equal dr d theta. This is the derivation of r dot theta. That will be 2 theta. So this one is the 2 theta, and the theta dot will be the, uh, the d, 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 theta, d theta dt is the theta dot. So r dot equal 2 theta dot theta. Mistake I see all the time, missing that theta dot there all the time. And when we take, oops, the r dot dot, we need to do the derivation of the r dot dt. And just be careful because what do we have? We have a function, uh, we have a product of two functions. So product of two functions, remember we have we need the f, we need the g function. The f function, let's say, is two theta dot. The, the two can go on both sides or you can just put it in, in front. And g is theta. f prime will be two theta dot dot and g prime will be theta dot. So f prime, let me put it in the same section, f prime g plus f g prime equal what? Equal two theta dot dot time theta plus two theta dot theta dot. So the r dot dot, it's equal to two theta dot dot theta plus two theta dot square and we have the function r dot dot and you see we have the function r dot what i see that is missing usually that theta dot dot there and the square okay because you are missing one step when we have a problem where theta dot dot is constant that's awesome it disappears and gets zero sometimes you come back on your feet but if not that's the full function so i hope it's it makes sense i know this those theta dot theta dot, dot is kind of like challenging but you can have a, like a good um, example of function that we see a lot. Cosine or sine, whatever, um, you will have the answer. We'll have a theta dot plus the cosine, the cosine or sine function. And the r dot dot will be a combination of sine and cosine, theta dot dot, theta dot square. And when there is um, a polynomial function, in this case, we get two theta dot dot for r dot. And this one, we have a combination of the theta dot dot, theta and the theta dot square, don't forget this one. Okay, I hope that helps uh, and it helps you relate to the formula that um, you know from your math class. Let me just try to make that a little bit bigger so we have a nice screenshot at the end to use. Here we go, this one and this one, here we go. something like this. Up. 
So don't forget to relate uh, to your calculus uh, operation. Hope that helps. Bye-bye.